Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my semester abroad. This wasn't exactly something I was comfortable talking about when I was going through it, just because it was kind of a difficult time for me. But I want to make this video because uh, I, I would like to encourage other people that are thinking about going on exchange to actually take that opportunity and use it to the best of your advantage. So two semesters ago last year, I took a semester abroad. Hi. And I studied in Adelaide, Australia. When I went, I had about two days of class per week and that was a lot of free time on my hands. Um, it was kind of difficult to find things that actually didn't require a lot of money. So I tried to save up a bit uh, in that sense, just because the cost of my living accommodation was already quite a bit. So initially this was really difficult for me because uh, this was my first time living away from home. And for the first couple of weeks, it was kind of a big jump from uh, living in Canada and studying here to moving to another country on the other side of the world and not really having much friends or support there. It was a bit of a jump because uh, for the first time in a few years since I started my university degree, I had to push myself to get out there again and to meet new people. And that's just something I haven't done in a while. It became especially difficult when my now ex-girlfriend and I broke up and that was around the third week of my exchange there. It made everything Thing more difficult and just being in another country not knowing anyone that made reaching out for support also another difficult task. Now the only consistency that I had there was my weekly Aikido training that I took. Now with the 15 hour time difference I resorted to a really bad sleep schedule and I regressed into my little closet of a room. I didn't really have anyone to talk with and it became really lonely. Yeah. Um, I managed to book a trip with a couple of friends and we went on a three-week trip, so that was nice. It consisted of five days on the road, a week in Sydney, and we had another nine days in New Zealand. I'm extremely grateful that I had the opportunity to travel with some new friends and I, I thank them for that. Now, the first five days that I got back from my trip were pretty difficult. Um, I started having panic attacks uh, almost daily for the first five days and the last day I had about three panic attacks consecutively and that last panic attack left me going in an ambulance to the hospital so at that point it was probably my lowest point in the trip. I knew something had to change so I, I reached out to one of the people I met at Aikido and we went out for dinner and just talked. It was really nice to have someone there that I could just talk with because uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but I had a kind of strange room arrangement. Um, my roommates and I didn't really talk that much, and even when we were in the common area, the longest conversation we could hold was, Hey, how's it going? Not much. And then either of us would walk out of the room or we would just stop talking. And around this time, I was heading into my third month of my time being there, and it felt like I wasted some, like a good chunk of my time there because I was in a whole nother environment and just adjusting and trying to maintain my living. But I was proud that I was able to pull together one last trip in the nine days I had before I left the country. And in that trip, I did a solo road trip, which brought me down the east coast of Australia. And I think that was a really worthwhile experience for me because at that point I was traveling on my own and I didn't have to worry about not being busy because I was always moving and that just kept me occupied and I had a great time doing that. I'm not sharing this story to scare anyone to repel them from going on to exchange. This was just my personal experience uh, when I did go. I'm sure you guys will probably have a better time than I did uh, and probably be more organized to coordinate certain trips. But overall, I'm extremely glad I had this opportunity to go study abroad for a semester. I think no matter the experience, good or bad, I think there's always room for value and lessons for you to bring back. Financials were a really big issue with people deciding whether or not they wanted to go or also uh, their ability to find an internship coming back. But with that said, I really hope that that doesn't deter you from applying. Um, even if you do apply and you get accepted, you can always change your mind later. And if you're considering to apply for exchange, I would strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, I hope that your grades aren't holding you back because when I applied my GPA was pretty low. I think it was at the bottom of the list. So, so I hope that's something that won't repel you away from this decision. 
I just finished editing the video, but I realized that I kind of forgot to shoot an outro. But anyways, um, if you guys have any thoughts on this, if you guys are have any questions about going on exchange and what are the processes to do with that, I might be able to provide a little insight. Just leave me a comment in the section down below, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya!